the god who followed the girl on the hill, the stone, and the thorn ran. At one point she became visible. She disappeared in a second. When it seemed that she could no longer be held, she reappeared. Vandiyathevan remembered the story of Rama following Maya Marison. But she is not magic either, the only thing that is certain is that neither Morrison nor she has the speed of a deer in her legs. Mama! What is she running fast? Why do we keep running after her, what madness is this? He thought that. He immediately taught a reason for it. As he got closer to Kadakar, the memory of the manga described by Synthan Amuthan kept coming to him. She must be that flower girl. If you make friends with her, it will be beneficial to get the things done. You can also ask for directions to the lighthouse. In the distance they could see the top of the lighthouse. But approaching it is not easy. When we entered the forest, we could not see the lighthouse. He was seen roaming around in the forest but could not find his way. It was at this time that Vandiyadeva saw the Pungazali on the wall of the Kulagar temple. If you see that you can catch her and ask for directions, does she run like a magic deer without being caught? Is it necessary to leave her like this? But losing to a woman even in a race is not good for the mind. He was seen roaming around in the forest but could not find his way. It was at this time that Vandiyadeva saw the Pungazali on the wall of the Kulagar temple. If you see that you can catch her and ask for directions, does she run like a magic deer without being caught? Is it necessary to leave her like this? But losing to a woman even in a race is not good for the mind. He was seen roaming around in the forest but could not find his way. It was at this time that Vandiyadeva saw the Pungazali on the wall of the Kulagar temple. If you see that you can catch her and ask for directions, does she run like a magic deer without being caught? Is it necessary to leave her like this? But losing to a woman even in a race is not good for the mind. Cow! The open space has come. The blue sea is visible in the distance. How beautiful is the appearance of that vast and peaceful sea! There is also a lighthouse. A torch now burns on its top. Its red rays fall on all four sides and perform magical tricks. Should we give up chasing this girl at this point and head for the lighthouse? Don't. Don't. It is easy to run and catch her in this open space. It's not even that sandy here. Don't bury your feet in the sand. Grass has sprouted on the ground. In some places, the mud has dried up. Here you can run without interruption. That girl can be caught easily. And isn't she running towards the sea? No matter how much she runs, she must stop and be herself at the end of the beach. Perhaps this strange woman will drown in the sea itself and disappear. Damn! Did we go without riding the horse? If so, can you catch her in a second in this open space? There she hesitated. Instead of running straight towards the sea, she turns and runs to the right. To avoid being caught by her, she runs towards the forest that can be seen at a distance to the right. If she enters the forest, she will definitely not be caught. All this time running in vain. Vandiyadeva's feet started begging at that time. Looks like she changed her mind again. It seems that she has given up the idea of going into the forest. She comes running back in a circle like a snake. It seems she wanted to go under the lighthouse. A quadruple leap can catch her. Grabbing her by the hand, he said, Girl. Why are you running away from me like this? I have brought you a message from your lover. If you say that, how surprised she will be. It is true that Sendan Amuthan did not send anything to him. So what? If you imagine something on your own, it will work. Vandiyadeva decided in his mind, using all the strength that was left in his body, he rushed and ran. His intention was to catch her running back. A sudden ouch! He said. At first he did not know what had happened to him. Then it started to appear. Both his feet were buried in the mud. At first only the feet were buried. Then the ankles were buried, the mud was up to the knees. Damn it! How has this place deceived us? If you look at the top, it has dried up well and is covered. 
The mud inside has not yet dried. Vandiyathevan had heard about the never-ending mud pits. Sheep, horses, and even elephants, if they get caught in the ditches, will gradually get squeezed in and eventually disappear completely. Is this such a burial ground? It seems so. The knee is gone. And shall we keep descending in? It seems that it will soon be buried up to the thigh. Will the mud that swallows up elephants and horses leave us alone? Alas! Is this our decision? Do we have to bury all the daydreams we have seen in this? At this time of danger, only if that strange woman comes and lends a hand and saves. There is no other way to escape. Let's have a look. Thinking like this, Vandiyadeva said, Alas! I am dead. I am drowning in the mud. Is there no one to help me and save me? He shouted. The cry fell on the ear of Pungujali. Punghuali, who was running at a short distance, stood right in front of him. She hesitated for a moment. She came to know about Vandiyadeva's dangerous condition. The next moment a boat lying half in the sand and half in a mud pit caught her attention. It must have been used at a time when the tank was full of water and a deep stream. Now she leapt into it. She took the paddle and hit it twice. Damn it! What wonder is this? Doesn't that boat float swiftly above the mud like a swan on water? It floated and reached the shore of the mud pit. Punguzali jumped on the pavement. She put her feet firmly on the shore and grabbed the hands of the god who had brought her and dragged her to the shore. Mama! How much strength is in the hands of that little girl? Her hands are more firm than the iron hands of Thanjay Purakata Commander Chinapalyavatareya. When he reached the shore, the god who arrived laughed merrily. Only his legs were shaking a little. You seem to think that you saved me and washed me ashore. Did you think I wouldn't be washed ashore if you hadn't come? He said. Then why the alas? Alas! Did you shout that? Punguzali asked. Just to stop you from running away. Then I'll throw you back into the pit. Climb ashore yourself with your skill. Punguzali said and tried to push. Ouch! Vandiyathevan said and stood away. What are you screaming for? I'm not afraid of life, I'm afraid of the mud. It's already up to my thighs. A smile blossomed on Punghwali's face. She looked up and down at Vandiyathevan. There's the sea. Go wash yourself off the mud. She said. You should go ahead and lead the way. Vandiyathevan said. Both walked towards the beach. They carried it around the mud pit. Why did you run away when you saw me? Did you think I was a terrible demon? Valavarayan asked. No, I didn't mean a devil. I meant an owl. Your nose looks like an owl nose. She said and laughed. Vandiyathevan is very proud of his appearance. Therefore calling him an owl made him very angry. Your monkey face makes my owl face dwindle. He muttered. What did you say? Nothing. I asked why you ran like that when you saw me. Why did you come after me like that? I chased you to ask for directions to the lighthouse. That's the light. Will you ask me for directions? I didn't know after entering the forest. That's why. Why did you run like that when you saw me? Boys are the worst. I can't stand the sight of boys. Shendan Potion 2 Valavarayan said in a soft voice. Who did you mean? I told Tanjavar Sendan Amudan. What do you know about him? You know he's your perfect boyfriend. What to do? Is your name Pungazali? My name is Pungazali. What did you say about Sendan Amudan? He is my. I said he's your boyfriend. Pungujali called Kalir and laughed. Who told you so? She said. Who else will say it? Sinthana Muthan said it. Tanjavar is far away. That's why he said that and got away. If not. If you had told me right here in front of me, I would have been thrown into that mud pit. So what? There's plenty of water in the ocean to cover the mud. 
Cows and horses are drowned in the muddy pit where you fell. It will swallow even an elephant. Vandiyadeva's body trembled. He thought of the feeling he felt as the abyss dragged him down. If only she hadn't come ashore, all this time. His whole body trembled when he thought of it. What else did Sendan Amuthan say about me? Pungazali asked. He said you are his uncle's daughter. He said there is no beauty like you even in heaven. Looks like he's gone straight to heaven. Still? He said you sing well. If you sing, even the sea will stop making noise and listen to you. Is that true? Know it yourself. Lo! The sea has come. Both of them came to the beach. <laughs>